Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Wawachachachodash. Double honors to the apostles and nails a great millstone. Peace and salutation to the hope for the lake. Faithfully and diligently preaching this word with fear and trembling. Shalom to the believers that subscribe to this truth through the spirit and power of your heart. Shimmy, how shy. This is another spirit at the wheel. All right. Lord will it be edifying. I'm a brother Tazamak from the GMS Memphis camp. GMS through the fire too. And I'm entitled this spirit at the wheel. Uh, the high valued man. All right. And pretty much. This is a response. <laughs> okay. A response to the death of uh Kevin Samuels, okay. Uh you know the famous uh YouTube podcast uh podcaster all right who was always talking about uh high value men and he was always getting on uh, these women, okay? And I'll say, I'll say this about Kevin Samuels from, you know, the times that I watched the interviews that he did, he was putting women in their place, man, okay? And he was giving these women a real reality check I'll say that before I say anything bad about him, which I truly don't have anything bad to say about him. Only uh, thing I have to say is that, you know, he got judged, okay? And there's nothing bad about that. Now, he knows truly what a high value man is. Okay, because as the scriptures say, uh, you know, be not a hypocrite, you know, uh, why get us uh, on your brother about the moat that's in his eye and, and consider not the beam that is in thine own eye. Okay, so in other words, Kevin Samuels wasn't perfect according to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father. Again, he wasn't perfect according to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father. All right? Now, none of us are perfect, but the true high, the true high value men do understand the judgment of the Heavenly Father in its perfection. They understand how judgment works. Okay? So, if you're going to be on a platform, all right, and you're going to be uh, putting people in their place So to speak You know for lack of better words Which I tell you this He was putting them women in their place man He was giving them The wake up call That a lot of them Most of them Really need <laughs> But at the same time uh, That man had a feminine spirit on him Okay Uh and all of his morals and principles was based off of uh, worldly knowledge, worldly principles, worldly morals. Uh, he was that suit and tie, fly kind of guy. Uh, the uh, degree, uh, 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 carrying, uh, high value type of guy. Okay. Uh, how much money you make, your your determines your high value kind of guy, and none of those things are uh, what truly determines the high value of a man. Okay, determines what determines the value of a man. What determines the value of a man is ultimately the spirit of righteousness. In their heart towards Yahweh by Shimi Shai's righteousness. 
like I said, a lot of things that he was telling these women, he was right. But so far as um, his overall mindset, okay, it, he had a defiled uh, way of thinking, man. Okay. So, uh, the scriptures say this. Because just as much as these women probably are rejoicing and oh, that's what that nigga get. He's always talking shit. Trying to talk bad about the women. Thought his shit didn't stink. Well, he did think his shit didn't stink. <laughs> he was a proud, he was a proud dude, man. Okay, and the most high pretty much humbled him. Alright. Uh again, not not defending the women because uh he was right for what he was saying to uh these women and the way that they were thinking that they shit didn't stink. Okay. But he he was really too up on his high horse, man. Okay, and most high hates pride. Alright? Most high hates pride. So I'm gonna get two scriptures on that note as soon as my phone loads up. Right? So this is the book of Job. Chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? See, so Kevin Samuels wasn't innocent, man. All right. get another precept because you know he was he was telling those women a lot of good things and now all of those women uh, uh, you know were offended by what he was saying a lot, uh, some of those women were actually agreeing with what he was saying and they were uh, taking heed to the council okay so he taught a lot of he taught you know said a lot of good things but the foundation of what he was teaching was based upon a worldly perspective and not according to the wisdom not the understanding of the heavenly father all right so this is wisdom of solomon 3 and 11 it reads for whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture he is miserable and their hope is vain. Their label, their their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. You know. So the work that he was doing, and that whole entire platform, was vain and unprofitable. Okay, because you wasn't uh, warning the people. Uh, Kevin Samuels wasn't warning the people of the judgment of Yahweh Shimi Shai. He wasn't warning people about the uh, the MOTB. Okay, he wasn't warning people about the destruction of America and the wicked uh, Esau Edom, the devil. The Bible speaks of uh, you know agenda to uh, take over world with this uh, global reset and new world he, he wasn't a prophet man okay he wasn't a prophet point blank period all right so his works wasn't wasn't uh wasn't profitable and pleasing to the most high all right you know now from a uh a worldly uh, point of view, all right. Uh, you would look at 
Kevin Samuels, if you a man, and be like, damn, I hate, you know, that happened, man, I, you know. <laughs> and a woman, you, you probably rejoice because like, yeah, I was sick of his shit. <laughs> but the balance of the most highest judgment is what matters at the end of the day. You know, because, you know, even us brothers here in Great Millstone, you know, we, we respected, you know, a lot of the things that uh, he was telling these women because they were right. You know, they were right. But at the same time, uh, the balance of the judgment of Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai is we are his woman. Okay? The Yahweh Shai is our head. So, was Kevin Samuels as an Israelite man, which symbolically the Israelite man is the woman, all right, the bride of Yahweh Shai, who is the bridegroom, was he preparing himself for the wedding? Was he preparing himself uh, for the ceremony? No, he wasn't. Okay? And in the spirit, he wasn't of the Lord's elect, man. Okay? He wasn't of the Lord's elect. Because that man was fairly young. Now, whether or not, <laughs> you know, it was foul play, you know, somebody actually did something, you know, it was, you know, murder, we don't know. I guess we'll see later on if something come out on the autopsy, but allegedly he was just found dead. Okay? But this is uh I should have started at verse 9, but I'm gonna jump back up in the same chapter, Wisdom Solomon uh verse 3, because I wanted to get that point in 11 first. But when you go back up to verse 9 in Wisdom Solomon, the third chapter, it says, They that put their trust in him, who is that him? Yahabashim Yahushai, shall understand the truth. And Kevin Samuels didn't understand the truth. Right? He had a, um, he had a up, he had a upright perspective on on a, on particular subject matters in the truth, uh, namely uh, a woman's position and what she ought to do to please a man. Her position as a woman. Uh, in a relationship with a man, he had a uh, righteous perspective on that. That's it. But see, this is the thing why the apostles always talk about having a 100% truth. Okay, because even within the world, amongst two thirds of our people, they have uh, uh, pieces of uh, truth truth from a righteous uh, righteousness perspective okay you know certain people know uh, that eating pork is bad for you but they don't do it because the bible says uh, don't do it they don't eat it because the bible says don't eat it they just eat it from a health perspective not knowing that that's a part of the lord's dietary or if they do that's not why they're doing it because they'll they might not eat pork but they'll eat shrimp all right, uh, Kevin Samuels, uh, from what I perceive, you know, I, I believe he used to have a beard on his face. All right, now if he had it on there all the time, like I don't watch the guy all the time, I watched a couple few episodes of him, you know, dealing with the women, but anyway, you will have guys that have beards on their face, all right, but they have them lined up, shaved off at the bottom, or you know, whatever. If you're not doing it for your Yahweh Shimi Shai, if you're not trusting your Yahweh Shimi Shai, all right, there's no hedge for you. It says, as such as be faithful and love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. So Kevin Samuels wasn't, wasn't of the Lord's elect, man. That's why he got taken out of there. Okay? He didn't understand the truth at the end of the day. Verse 10, but the ungodly shall be punished 
according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. All right. Now, I could be wrong. I'm not speaking as a man. All right. Just from observing, you know, that guy, Kevin Samuels, had homo mole tendencies to me, man. You know, he kind of, I kind of perceived him as a closet kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. You know, I could be wrong. <laughs> but anyway, he, he came off as sort of kind of feminine to me, man. You know, um, as much as he was getting on women, you know, which that's cool. You know, that's cool. But at the end of the day, whoever perished being innocent, you know, we don't know. We don't know really what this guy. Uh, true beliefs were but we know he wasn't of the Lord's elect we know he didn't teach this truth we know he wasn't a prophet we know he wasn't using uh, his platform to uh, further the ministry of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay So all his labor was was pretty much in vain. And nobody's works will be remembered, man. At the end of the day, if you ain't preaching the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, if you're not preaching the kingdom of heaven, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, all right, then you just fuel for the fire. All right? You just fuel for the fire. Hey, I like the elder, but not the Zakba. I was listening to his uh, 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 lesson on the matter, okay, concerning Kevin Samuels. And, um, <laughs> you know, he was like, look, man, if you don't repent, we expect, uh, <laughs> you know, we expect to be doing a lesson about you. Okay. Okay. And talking about you guys with these platforms that's, you know, telling some portion of the truth, but not really telling it the whole truth, you know, from, uh, the perspective of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah being the one that gets the the praise and the glory. See, that guy was giving too much praise and glory, all right. And there was a lot of pride going into uh, the uh, uh, the the spirit. Okay, that he was coming in. He he was coming in that in that proud spirit, man. Because really, uh. A lot of uh, most of these men, like the, the high value man, is the men of the Lord, man. All right. A lot of these niggas is in this world. I don't give a damn how much money they got, what type of education, what type of job they got. All right. If their mind is not towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're not men after the Most High's own heart, meaning His judgment, His His righteousness. Then they ain't shit. Okay. So the, the, the Lord had to humble that nigga down so that all the niggas that was, you know, getting all puffed up behind this man would be, have to be humbled too, okay? Because the Lord, he's humbling the men of the Lord daily, man. We we we, we seeing the judgment and we, we are working out our salvation with fear and trembling, okay? We're not, we're not with the work of our own hands and we're not praising... Uh, the, 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 the work that men do, okay, or that we do. We praising the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We giving him all the glory, man. Okay. So but he knows what the high value man is now. Alright. And the, the the truth of the matter is is that everything outside of this ministry is is going to be uh cast down okay <clears throat> so i'll end here with this scripture this is uh second corinthians and i'm gonna start at uh this is second corinthians ch chapter five and i'm gonna start at uh Verse 9, it says, Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. 
We're laboring to be accepted of Yahar Bashim Yahavasha. Okay? That's why we're that's what that's what our work is all about. Verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. And that's judgment. Right? You're gonna you're gonna receive judgment according to your works. Okay? So Kevin Samuel's dropping dead is judgment according to his works. Verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the the terror of the Lord. See, it all goes back to glorifying your Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and having that fear towards the most high. The whole duty of man is keep his commandments, fear the most high, and keep his commandments. Alright. <clears throat> Kevin Samuels didn't fear your Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Alright. <clears throat> <clears throat> it says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the most high, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. Okay. So <clears throat> you know. Lord will you are edified. All praise and glory be to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba Hashem, Kakudash, Kwam Yasarala, Abal Babal, Rise Israel, Destroy Confusion, Shalom, Lawakayim. Peace to the Lord.